Welcome back savages to another video. If you're here because of this annoying issue with the Nokia body cardio scales then you're in the right place. Now when I say Nokia you'd be right in thinking it's the same people that used to make these phones back in the day. Well it seems they also branched out and started making smart scales for a little while. It wasn't long afterwards that a company called Withings took over the actual software and development of these scales. And since then, Withings have updated the software and it seems to have worked quite well with this scale. But recently, they've just broken it with a firmware update. And I'm about to show you why. So now I'm going to show you two procedures that should be able to fix this problem. If the first one doesn't work, which doesn't require any special skills or software, then you can go on to the second one. But be warned, if you use the second one, you're going to need a rooted mobile phone. But more on that later. So if you get this message... You can try resetting the actual scales and there's a button just here on the right hand side and you hold that in for about 10-15 seconds and what this does is resets the scales. Keep it pressed until that reset is finished. And that's it, it's gone back to factory. Then go to the Withings app and press this top right button right here. Then what you need to do is go into your Bluetooth and make sure that you don't have Body Cardio 20 in the list anywhere. If you do, make sure you forget the device. And it should be called something like this, Body Cardio 20. Then what I'm going to do is switch off Bluetooth altogether. And we're going to go back to the Withings app. So we've still got this message scrolling along the top here, just in the setup screen. So next we're going to go to the top right of the Withings app and do install a new product. We're going to pick scales and we're going to click body cardio next we click on start installation it asks us to enable bluetooth so we're going to do that we just do settings enable it go to settings and then go back to the withings app so we've got a tick on bluetooth we've got a tick on location we're now going to do next it then asks us to hold that same button on the right hand side for three seconds and it should display a qr code so there's a button, I'm going to press it for three seconds and nothing happens. There is no QR code that ever comes up on these scales. It's probably because it's an older firmware version on the scales, yet they've updated the firmware on the phone for the app. So therefore the app is out of sync with the scales and it'll never set this up. So this first method will fail, unfortunately. So option number one is out of the window. It's never going to work because we're never going to get a QR code to appear on the screen. So that leaves us with option number two. The only way we can do option number two is with an old version of the Withens app. And obviously you can't roll back an old version on any existing Android or iPhone because they always have the most current version installed. So you need to either source a phone that's got an old version on there which hasn't been updated or you're going to need an iPhone which is jailbroken or an Android phone which is rooted. Unfortunately this iPhone is not jailbroken so that's out of the picture. So that leaves us with the Android phone. Luckily for me, this Android phone is rooted and I can show you when it comes on. It gives you a little message right there about the bootloader being unlocked. And that's just gonna go ahead and load that phone. Now I'm not gonna show you how to root an Android phone. There's plenty of guides on the internet on how to do that. But please be aware that you'll void your warranty and you could potentially brick the phone altogether. So if you're going to do it, it's entirely on you. So once the phone's loaded up, just go into Google and do a search for Withens Old APK. And the first result that comes back is this one here, Older Versions of Withens Health. Go ahead and click on that. And when you go to this website, you can see there's all the old versions right there. So once the page loads up, go down the list and pick the version you want to install. The one I went for was 5.10.3. When that next page loads up, scroll down all of this and you want to click on this green download button here. And click on that and that should download it. I've already downloaded it, so it's just asking me to download it again. The file size is about 162 megabytes. 
So once you've downloaded that file, you need something called an APK installer. And for that, I use APK Pure. So go on Google and find APK Pure and install it. And then you should be able to install that downloaded file. So once you've installed the app, it should be called HealthMate. Go ahead and open it. So once the app is open, go ahead and click on Devices here at the bottom. Click on Install a Device. Pick your device. We're going to pick Scales. Body Cardio. Install. And it says Turn on the Scales. Well, they're already on. And it should say Connecting. It does say at the bottom, Product Detected. Bluetooth Pairing Request. Pair it. We're going to pair it and looks like we've got something on the screen right there. So we're going to do next to that, set up the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Wi-Fi settings in. It now says configuring your body cardio scale and it's on step three or four. Just ask you to personalise the scale so you can have different measurements. We'll skip all of that. And there you go, setup is complete and the scale says four out of four steps and it's ready to go. Click on next and then you can set up weight goals, etc, etc. Done. And there we go, we're in the app and the scales are working fine. And if we just press down on it, it looks like it's all working. And the beauty is if we go back into our current app, it'll pick up all the settings and you can continue from where you left off. So there you go, savages. That is how we fix the Nokia or Withings body cardio loop of death using an old version of the app. I'll leave a link in the description to all the links that we've used in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Please share, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.